Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 5 and in this video we're going to talk about Google Chrome Developer Tools. That's coming up. Alright then gang, so I'm here in Google Chrome, the browser, and this is the page that I showed you before. Um, and I'm going to show you one more tool before we get started working on some JavaScript code and that is the Google Developer Tools in the Google Chrome browser. So to get the tools open, all you have to do is press F12 and it brings up a tab like this or a little pane on your right hand side. And it looks quite daunting at first because there's all these different tabs and you've got this stuff down here, your code here, really not daunting. And I'm only gonna show you two of the tabs or maybe three. Okay, the first one is this one that it automatically opens in and it's the elements tab. This just shows you the HTML on your page. So you can expand the different tags to see what's in them. And as you hover over those elements, it kind of shows you and highlights you on the left where they are. So that's really cool. And then you've got your script right at the bottom here. If I right click this uh, test.js and I go down to open link in resources panel, that's gonna bring me to the resources tab and show me that script which is right here. Okay, so I can see which scripts are running and I can look at them right here in developer tools. Uh, the third tab I'm gonna show you and by far the most useful for me when working with JavaScript is the console tab. And right here, I can type in JavaScript live in the browser so I can test things out. And also, it's going to throw up any errors that my website may have when it comes to JavaScript. Okay, so for example, I can throw up an alert. Let's just do this. Alert suck. And there we go. Comes up, alert suck. Cool. Uh, don't worry about this undefined message at the moment. Um, again, it shows me errors, like I say. So if I do this again, and I put alerts suck, this time it comes up with a red error. And it says uncaught syntax error, missing bracket after the argument list. Okay, so now it thinks that this is a list. So let's just try doing this, alert hello. Just one word, let's see what it says. No, again, uncaught reference error, hello is not defined. And that's because I've not got these quotation marks, okay? When you do alert, you have to pass in a string. This right here is not a string because it's not got quotation marks. It thinks I'm referencing a variable called hello and it can't find that variable. Don't worry about these things too much for now. I'm gonna show you all this later. I just wanna show you that it's really useful because you can view these errors right here. And if I was to put this in my code, um, it would show me the line of the code right here that it's on. And then I could click this and it would take me to that line of code, which is really cool. So you can debug using the, uh, the console tools. I'm going to show you one more thing. In fact, before we go away, uh, you can also do things like uh, arithmetic in here. And we're going to cover all this kind of stuff later. Um, 7 minus 4. And it's going to return the answers to you. So it's really cool for kind of testing things out. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing, which is back in the elements tab. And if I go up here, this little kind of angle bracket and then underscore and click on that, then it's going to pop up this thing right at the bottom and I can have the console right here in the elements tab. Okay, so this is really good because you can see your HTML up here and you can work with that via JavaScript down here in the console. I'm going to give an example. I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and also you get this IntelliSense which is really cool and then I'm going to pass in the ID which is content because I can see that up here so that's really good I can look at this and write it down here and I'm getting this ID content and it's going to return to me that div so don't worry about this too much for now. I just wanted to show you how useful the console tools are when you're practicing JavaScript. So that's about it for this lesson. If you have any questions about it whatsoever, feel free to throw those down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, if you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe, like or share. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we're going to start coding up some JavaScript. I'll see you guys then.